if we've got corrosion and the zincs aren't getting used up, then they're obviously not doing their job. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert sessions here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt and we're talking to Nigel Calder. Hi. And today we have yet another question related to diesel engines. When we last hauled out a year ago, we had severe corrosion on our sail drive on the aluminum piece that holds the prop shaft seals. The rest of the sail drive looked fine. The zincs just behind the seal housing looked like new after a year in the water. I suspect the zincs weren't properly grounded to the sail drive. What do you think? Hmm. So it, it certainly sounds like it. If we've got corrosion and the zincs aren't getting used up, then they're obviously not doing their job. It, it's a little hard to see how you would get no electrical connection there, but that's certainly what it looks like. I wonder whether this is a, a Volvo Penta or a Yanmar, because they're the two predominant sail drives in the marketplace. The Yanmars historically have had more corrosion issues because Volvo Penta galvanically isolates their drive legs from the rest of the boat and they do it with a, basically a plastic gasket between the transmission and the engine and uh, they have a pattern on that so nobody else is allowed to do it so everybody else's drive leg is actually electrically connected to the engine which is then connected to the rest of the boat's DC negative and, and likely to the water through some other grounding circuit so then the drive leg in your sail drive becomes a huge anode for the rest of the boat. So then we get significant corrosion issues. My, my guess is this is a Volvo Penta because there's no other corrosion anywhere else. The drive leg is isolated and the, uh, the anode at the prop is just not doing its job. And so um, probably not properly connected. Uh, one last little thing while I think about it, if you have a Volvo Penta and you have a multimeter on the boat, Put it in the ohms mode, which measures resistance, and measure from your engine block to your transmission. And you should see basically uh, no circuit if the uh, galvanic isolation is working. You should see either OL, which means open loop, or basically no circuit, or very, very high uh, ohms reading in the thousands of an ohm or the millions of an ohm. Uh, if you get a low reading, say we get 0.3 or 4 of an ohm or 1 ohm, then your galvanic isolation has failed and you should do something to sort it out because that is a critical part of the protection on those drive legs. And on that note, it might also maybe be a good idea to actually just use a multimeter and test the resist resistance between the anode and the, and the sail drive to see if there is a, I mean, if then you notice, okay, there's no connection or like a very high resistance, then of course, yeah, you yes, know that that's the problem. problem. Yeah, obviously the boat has to be out of the water to do that, but yes, that would, after fitting the anode, just go ahead and make sure that it really is doing its job. All right. Thanks, Nigel. And if you want to learn more about boat engines, uh, check out our brand new marine diesel engine maintenance course at boathow2.com. See you soon.